Read my eyes, do I want to stay? If you thought you weren't made that way It's the choices we make We give and take And I know you will keep trying Said I think I know what you mean Buongiorno beautiful people, how are you? I hope you're doing well, welcome back to my channel It's really early in the morning, earlier than I usually wake up, I don't want to give the impression that I wake up at 6am every day because I don't. But today I have quite a hectic day because apart from obviously working, I have a 10.30am uh, dentist appointment and I'm really scared. I just, I don't know if I'm the only one, but I get really nervous whenever I have to go to the dentist. I don't know why. I, I, it just makes me very nervous. So because also I wanted to somehow, if I can upload this vlog, Today, or at least publish it this afternoon, I thought to just have an early start, um, have some coffee now, and then I am going to go to the gym now and do my workout. Go around, yeah, it's five to seven, so probably go in for 7.30. Um, do my leg workout, bring you there, so because hopefully as well, it's going to be nice and empty, or at least not as busy as usual so I won't have a problem filming and then a few things I have a Zara delivery um, a few bits and bobs but yeah just get an early start just in case when I come back from the dentist I will you know I won't be able to talk or will talk funny if for any reason something needs to be done to my teeth and they have to put some um, numbing or anesthesia on one side and then talk all like that because it has happened in the past. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna make myself a coffee and then we'll get ready to go to the gym. Also, as you saw, today is um, Friday, which is wash hair day. I wash my hair once a week um, or I try to wash it every, yeah, seven, uh, five to seven days just to yeah manage my hair. So I put the Olaplex number I can't remember now, I don't know if it's 3 or 8, I always get confused, but yeah, I showed you anyway. Um, so I'll put my hair mask and I'm going to leave it on until after the workout, then I'm going to wash my hair, wash my face, do the whole skincare thing, which um, I'm not very good at it, and I'm not an expert, but if not, I will show you, um, especially because today is the first day that I have basically no makeup on, and I feel very... I'm not sure, it's one of my insecurities. So yeah, this for me is actually quite difficult and it sounds very silly and um, stupid, but yeah. Uh, but yeah, the only thing I did is the soapy eyebrows, which is literally when you put that hair um, eyelash brush or whatever it is, brow brush, into soap, a slightly wet, and you, um, yeah, you, you brush them just to get them in place, uh, especially because my yeah my hairs in my eyebrows are very very thin. They're not very present. A um, little bit of mascara, and that's it. And just a little thing here to cover this, and one I have somewhere in my forehead. But besides that, yeah, no makeup on, and. Please don't be mean at me, please don't come at me uh, or criticize my skin because I swear otherwise I will never ever film without makeup ever again in my life because I'm terrified. And I think I just broke my coffee machine. Did I put that bra on? It, it has not been perforated. Usually it perforates it, now it doesn't, even though I put it in. Oh, come on, not today. Today was meant to be a nice day, a productive day, that I would start in a positive way, I would prioritize my physical and mental health. We have coffee. At least it did make some, some sort of coffee. I'm not sure whether it's going to be burned. It's very bright and in the morning there is also, as you can see, weird shadows. So I don't know how good this is. Um, but oh well, anyhow, in any case, yes, so we're going to train legs and I'm gonna get my program because I feel like the last video I did, I did explain more or less how I structure my gym program or how I'm doing it this time. It is quite complicated and it is a little bit confusing so I thought I would 
get my um, gym book where I literally write down everything I do and my schedule and my program um, and just let you know more or less what I'm doing and as well what I'm going to do today. So I'm gonna go grab it. This book here, which I got from Amazon um, and I will link it down below and it's just a plain uh, book where you get the um, date, uh, the exercises and then you write down obviously how many sets you write down how many reps how the weight um then if you want to do some extra stuff some notes whatever um and it's completely empty so that you can as i said either write down a program that you found online or write down and create your own today we're doing the glute day um so the other thing especially with lower body days is very important that um, you prioritize the compound movement first at the beginning of each session uh, both because they're the ones that usually you go heavier on so if you reserve at the beginning right at the beginning of the of your workout after obviously warming up and stretching um, that means that you can have all the energy to push and lift the heavy weight that you want to do and as well because our as I said compound movements that allows you to um, warm up and work a lot of muscles at once and then you can switch into muscle isolation exercises so um, yeah this is the reason why I divide the heavy squats deadlifts and um hip thrusts into three different days at the beginning of my three lower body sessions that doesn't mean that i don't do any more squats the other days or any more hip thrusts or any more deadlifts the other days um it just means that the lower rep range and heavier weight goes in those separate times and then if i do do again um, either any variation of squats, hip thrust, uh, or like glute bridge and whatnot, um, and deadlifts, whether it's sumo, uh, regular um, Romanian deadlift, whatever it is, that just means, sorry, there's a train, um, that just means that I will do a lighter weight and a heavier rep, uh, 15 reps, something like that, or on the higher side. If the equipment is free, we're going to do a hip thrust session so yeah hip thrust at the beginning um a little bit of um squats just very light on the 15 rep range then we're going to do if we can uh, we're going to do in the smith machine curtsy lunges which is great because i like to have movements or exercises that do that are bilateral which means that you work both sides um at once so both legs but then i also like to do unilateral exercises where you do for example a leg at a time so because the hip thrust and the squats work both legs at the same time then i will pass into curtsy lunges which targets the side of the glutes very well uh, then we're gonna jump back into romanian deadlift which i will use dumbbells but yeah i will do both legs at the same time then we're gonna again go into a unilateral exercise like the cable kickbacks where again you do one leg at a time and then finally some um, hip abduction which is um, I will do the machine so in that case again um, it's going to be both legs at the same time so yeah I just find it very I find it more effective to sort of make sure that as I said I work both and the battery ran out already long story short if I do that then I just for me it gives me the peace of mind that one leg won't take over if you work out that way and you just ensure a little bit of balance then you can make it more symmetrical basically but yeah i'm just gonna finish my coffee um and then we're gonna go to the gym because i was looking that i did blab a lot i think i'm just gonna cut part of it and just plumb down in the description box my worker split if you want to do it or if you're curious um again i'm not a pt I'm not professional, you shouldn't do this just because I told you to. Uh, but if you're curious and you want to know that, I'm just going to write down uh, my session so you can see more or less how I structure my program um, and you have it there. Also, right now is uh, breakfast time for my cat. So I just wanted to show you how cute he is when we give him food. No, no, no. Lie down. Come on. Lie down. Oh. Okay, stay, stay, okay. 
Okay, so now I can walk away, literally. I can turn my back from him. Yes, yes, good boy. I'm actually quite surprised that we get to do this because I can literally walk away to put the food back into the cupboard and he would just stay there lying down and he would not touch his food because he knows that he's not allowed um, until I say yes. Um, and you can see the little impatience in his little paws. So yeah, I think he's so cute. Um, and I adore doing this because I find it very funny that I managed to make him do that, basically behave like a, almost like a dog. <laughs> Right, so I just finished showering and drying my hair. It's super fluffy uh, because usually I just blow dry with the um, Dyson air wrap thingy and then I curl it the day after or straighten the day after just because I have this feeling that it's too much heat for one day, so I do it the day after. I don't know if it makes a difference or not. I just do that. I put a bit of makeup on, just a little bit, um, but I wanted to show you the skincare routine products that I use. Not because anyone cares or because what I do is right or whatever, but because I've done a little bit of research um, and I wanted to show you a little bit just in case anyone knows what I'm doing wrong or what I could do better. Um, I might do a dedicated video for that, but I just want to, yeah, just a second show you the things. So I'm gonna go in one second in the bathroom. Okay, so, um, sorry. Uh, this is the product that I have. It's very echoey here. Um, but this is the product that I have. So I divide it in nighttime and morning time. Uh, so in terms of hair, yeah, as I was saying, I did the Olaplex number no. three mask, which I do every Friday. Then I wash my hair with Functional Beauty Ones, which I'm gonna be honest, at the beginning, I didn't like it at all. Um, it wasn't doing anything more than the other sulfate free that I used to buy from Tesco. And so for me, it didn't make sense to spend that much money uh, for something that you know, didn't do anything more. Uh, so this is still my first bottles of, um, what is it? Yeah, shampoo and conditioner. But yeah, so I kept using it obviously because I have it, so there was no point of throwing it away. And actually now that I've been using it for four months, I mean, this is, yeah, this is what's left after four months of using it once or maybe twice a week. And it's not that bad actually. I'm not too mad about it and I might buy it again if I really think that the price is worth it and all of that and the amount of time you have to wait until it gets delivered is okay. Um, but yeah, I'm not quite sure about this 100%, but this is what I use with a little thing, so sort of wet, um, with this little silicon like yeah scalp massager brush thingy which i bought from amazon which i'll link below i literally been using it for two weeks or something like that very recently and i love it um i don't know if it makes a difference or not but yeah love it after i yeah wash my hair i put a little bit of this bonding oil just because yeah it's good for the hair and as well it has a heating protection kind of thing um, and then I blow my hair 
and then midweek I will put a pump of this and a few drops again of this number seven mix it together and put it through my hair midweek just to make sure that it's still nice and soft so yeah that's in terms of my hair and then um, every morning what I do is go in with a gentle cleanser this is just from the body shop just to make sure that everything that I didn't get off during the night is off then I do a little bit of toner this is normal rose water toner which is very good and nice then I go in when my skin is still kind of wet from the toner and I put this vitamin C serum which is really good for hydration it goes together with this um, hyal 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 hyaluronic hyaluronic I don't know whatever this um, other serum that I put on at night um, they go together and actually so far that means it has been working great um, so yeah so cleansing toner serum so to put it in order because otherwise i forget um after the serum straight after i put this eye cream which is meant to be yeah, refreshing brightening and the puffing whatever to have like a yeah a little wake me up um and straight away when the serum again is still wet i go in with this charlotte tilbury magic cream to basically they say to go in straight away with the moisturizer to lock in any moisture because the vitamin c serum and also the other serum um, they tend to yes yeah, suck in any water that they can find in the environment the air whatever else so if you put a moisturizer straight after it locks in the moisture and then last step after the moisturizer i go in with this um tinted um spf cream uh, just on the face and neck um, and yeah that's my morning and then at night uh, similar but I go in first with this balm from the body shop just to melt down any makeup um, I just wet it a little bit and literally massage it into the skin where my makeup is just to melt it then I go again with either the face wash I showed you or this exfoliator which is again really really good to get all the debris off um, then when I put some toner just because I used to put this pixie one glow tonic water but apparently the glycolic acid that's in here shouldn't be paired with the hyaluronic serum because apparently it's counterproductive or something I don't know if you know then tell me um, so yeah put in the normal toner again uh, straight away put the serum again to get the moisture in and then straight away after I put this vitamin D um, super moisturizing cream for dry skin again straight away after to lock in the moisture I mean I am definitely not an expert and I have no idea whether what I'm doing matters or is making things worse but in terms of hydration my skin does feel much better and more hydrated but in terms of spots which I do tend to have breakouts um, just white heads mainly um, it's not I'm not doing anything yet for that and well besides the double cleansing and things like that and exfoliating which of course you know removing the dead um, skin cells that helps preventing breakouts but I still get as I said breakouts here and there so um, I did order a I don't know if it's retinol or retinoid I can't remember which one is the big family and which one is one of the variation within that so one of the two whatever I just got this yeah cream that is arriving I think today from Boots and I don't know I'm gonna try it out of course as with everything results i'm not gonna show straight away it's going to probably be a few months so perhaps i should wait to do my skincare sort of video in a few months after i have tested it out and seen whether it's done anything to my skin um but yeah i don't know about that and i'm very scared because i'm very sensitive and in the past i did have some skin purges where i just get breakouts everywhere every single day every single day it goes on the desk there and wants my eggs huh and yet he never gets any but he keeps trying um yeah i forgot what i was talking about and then um i had started cooking uh but yeah i'm going to eat this do a little bit more work before 
I brush my teeth, floss and get ready to the dentist. Am I the only one that brushes like the teeth like to almost to the point that they bleed <laughs> before a dentist appointment? I just want to get everything out as if like it was like that all year long. Um, but yeah, I'm going to do that and hopefully I will be able to talk and finish the vlog in a decent manner after the appointment and if not I apologize in advance if I can't talk. So um, I'm back. Well, I had lunch already and started editing this. The dentist appointment wasn't as bad as I thought. And as my partner already had told me, um, it was a checkup appointment and I do need to get a few things done. Nothing major, but of course it's not gonna be on the same day. I literally booked for mid June, something like that. So yeah, um, that is over though. Uh, before I finish this vlog, because I feel like it's already long enough, I just wanted to show you the Zara package that I said that arrived today. Um, and I got this one, which as you saw, I had it on from uh, to go to the dentist appointment. And I feel like it's actually really cute. I'm getting to, um, you know, know, not know, but I'm discovering a different style that I usually wear things. So this one is one of them. And I don't know if I really like it with um, I had it on, as you will see now, with the jeans and the Air, For Air, Air Mac, no, Air Force one, uh, Nike Air Force ones. Um, I don't know if I like it like that, but I think it's quite cute. And if I had maybe a nice high boot um, and a nice, yeah, I don't know, a nice bag, black bag or something, and go all black underneath, or maybe some some leather, uh, leather leggings or leather jeans. That's the other thing I was thinking. Um, it's a bit different, but I think I like it. Um, the other thing I got, which unfortunately nothing fits me, are the Zara jeans, which I usually, well, I used to be a size 10. Um, I don't know if I still am, um, and maybe I'm not at Zara, I, I don't know. Uh, but none of them fit me. Um, I mean, I could button them up and everything, but I, I wouldn't be able to sit comfortably. So what's the point about that? And also because, as I said, I'm going to the gym quite regularly now. I'm pretty sure that my, my body composition will be different. So yeah, I think I should wait a few days or weeks more before buying anything final. And then the other thing I got is this super cute crop top, which with this tie-dye kind of pattern, and it's adorable. I really, really like it. Um, I would love, as I said, to wear it with some mom jeans and my sneakers. I think that will be cute. The other thing I got, which I was saying before, is the retinol or retinoid from Boots, which I don't know if it came open or not. I did the online consultation at Boots. Uh, they have the, the online, I think it's called online skin acne. Or something like that where you have to ask um, answer a few questions and depending on the, which product you like and you see whether or not it's suitable um, so I got this different 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 cream um, it's very very light I think it's one of the lightest percentage in terms of retinoids because obviously you have to build up I think or something like that I don't know anyhow so this is what I'm going to start and then in a few weeks or months I'll let you know how it goes and if you see me uh, basically my skin going super bad then you know why yeah i just wanted to perhaps talk about a few other things but i don't want this vlog to go for hours and hours and hours so i think i'm just gonna finish it here so then i can yeah edit and then tomorrow probably i will do another vlog and i will just continue talking about all the stuff that i wanted to talk about and i also wanted to bake so yeah that's something that we can do tomorrow but yeah super impromptu vlog um, i actually liked vlogging today and it felt nice to have an early start of the day waking up at 6 2015 whatever it was going to the gym i just feel very like productive and i feel like i did a lot and i still have a lot to do in terms of work but you know it felt good so yeah i really enjoyed it um and yeah i mean i'm gonna 
stop loving here thank you so much for watching please don't forget to give it a like if you liked it and subscribe to my youtube channel and put all the notifications on um as i said i will link all the items down below and as well i will make sure to take the time to write down my program down below in case you want it um and yeah and hopefully i will see you next time Ciao!